Hey everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Gulchan Shivam. I'm working with IBM as advisory consultant and I'm a Microsoft MVP in the category of business application as well. Now let's go straight to the agenda of this session. Now the topic is manage user permissions using security groups. This is relatively new. It came in wave one, 2023, and it means the general availability is from April 1, 2023. Now, what is it? You guys must have used user groups in Business Center, which is nothing but just a bucket in which you put all the permission sets that you want, and that is relevant to that profile. For example, I can prepare a permission set, sorry, a user group, which is named as finance, and I can put all the permission sets relevant to that user group into it. So user groups were supposed to just recognize and group together similar permission sets so that it is easy to assign one user group in which I'm having all the permission set to a particular person. Now, it is going to be replaced in upcoming updates. User group is going to be deprecated and one of the updates which is going to come in the recent future. And now they have introduced or I would say they have renamed user group as security group. Now, why they have done it? As you know, now we are going from on-premises to SaaS. SaaS is the future. Online is the future. Cloud is the future. So the integration allows the integration because these security groups are going to be created first in Azure AD. And then from Azure AD, we are going to get this in Business Central. So basically it will be a linking of the security group between Azure AD and Business Central. So creating a security group in Business Central, the prerequisite to this would be first create a security group in Azure AD. And what it, would, it will do, why I'm having a security group first created in Azure and then in Business Central earlier, I used to have user group, which was simple, just created in Business Central in use. This is for us to be ready for the future. This integration allows you to reverse the benefit of security groups and managing permissions effectively. So let's straight go and see it and practice how it looks, how it works. Okay. Now, as I told you that I cannot go and directly create a security group in Business Center, let's see here. I have security group here. Okay, I have the new option. I'll go here, I'll click on new. Now, what does it ask for? It's ask for AAD security group name. It means Azure Active Directory security group name. You can go and see the lookup. You will find nothing because I have not created a security group first in Azure AD. Okay, so it will not allow me to create anything. Okay, so first we need to go to Azure and create a security group in Azure. For that, let's open a new window here and put this URL, which is portal.azure.com. Now I'll log in with the one I'm using, or I would say, which is related to this particular instance of Business Central. Okay. Here, you need to click on Azure Active Directory. Then you need to click on groups. Then here you can see all the groups created, which are different type of groups in Azure. I need to create Azure group, which is of group type security. These are of different group type. Okay, I'll click on new group here. Now you can see this group type is of security, and this is what I want. I'll name it as, let's say, um, D365 BC SMEs because I'm creating the security group for grouping the permissions which I need to assign to a particular SME using Business Central. Uh, you can have a different description here. Let's say security group created for the SMEs. Okay. Uh, this will be as it is, non editable. Now, here, need to add the members as well. You can create it now, you can add the members later, but here, first I have created this group, I have updated the description, then I'll add the members here itself. You click on no members selected here, this hyperlink, 
And this would be similar to adding users into user group. So whatever users you have created in your business central tenant, all these you'll find here. So let's say I want to add Aman Saxena to this security group. I'll click on Aman Saxena and you can see here now it is showing under selected items. Okay, I'll click on select here. You can see now it is showing one member selected. Now I'll click on create. You can see the message successfully created group D365 BC SMEs. We close this. Okay, right now it's not showing in the list. Just click on refresh. Now you can see it is showing in the list and the group type is security. Okay, now what I need to do is I need to go in business central. Okay, uh, you might need to refresh sometimes. So that's why I'm again going to that page. So go to security groups page, click on new. Again, here, go to this lookup. Now you can find this. And this is going to be synced from what you've created in Azure. You will not see any button here, which is create or delete. So this means it has been created in Azure. And now you can see it here in the lookups, available security groups on Azure AD. Now I'll select, unclick, select this one and click on okay. You can have a different code here, but whatever you select, this name will be copied here as well. But you have a different, you could have a different name here. I'll click on create. Now you can see this security group is created. If you click on the fact box, you can see the member as well, which is Aman. Also, you can click here and see the member. The two things, the security group needs to be created first on Azure AD and the members can only be added on the Azure AD only. It will not be added. It cannot be added on Business Central. Okay. Now, I have created a security group. I have added members to it. Let's say I want to add permissions to this security group. I'll click on this. I can see two options, permissions and permissions set by security group, like we used to have for uh, user groups. I'll click on permissions. Let's say I want to add this very simple like we used to have earlier. That's this one. That's the one more. So similar to that, nothing new here. Okay. And the other way is to have a grid, which is permission set by security group. I have created one security group, so it is showing here. Whatever I want to add, I can click here. It is much simpler than adding it one by one in the previous option. Now, if you see all these permission sets are added here. Okay, so this is how you create a security group in Azure, link it to security group in Business Central and add permissions to it. Now one more thing, this security group that you're creating here, it can be created through Office 365 Admin Center as well. Let's see how it can be done and we will try to create one more security group this time from Admin Center of Office 365. And whatever you have created here, it will show here in 365 Admin Center as well. So to create a new security group or to add members to an existing security group through Microsoft 365 Admin Center, you need to go to Teams and Groups, then click on Active Teams and Groups. Then you click on Security. You can see one group which I've created is visible here. Now I want to create a new group from 365 Admin Center. I'll click on here. I'll click on type as security. I'll click on next, enter name and description like we did on a show. So let's say uh, this time finance, Cal add finance users. Next, okay. It's just giving you this information and telling you just verify if this is what the type and name should be. Now click on create group. Okay. Group created, close. Now you can see that you have the finance group created here. Let's click on it. If you click on it, you have the option of members here, the tab of members. Click on view all and manage members. Click on add members.
Now let's say I want to add uh, Abhishek Kamlesh to this finance security group. I'll click and I'll click on add one. Okay. Let's close this one. Now, if you want to see whether the member has been added or not, if you go here again, you can see one member. If you go to member, you can see one member is this with the email ID. So this is how you create a security group in 365 admin center and add members to it. Now, if you go here and refresh on Azure, you can see here the security group created from Microsoft 365 Admin Center. And also here, now you can look at the option to add the new one that we created from Microsoft 365 Admin Center. We'll follow the same process. Now you can see finance one. If you want to create, you can create a second security group. So that's pretty much in this video. I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.